Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Carly Tanager, and I am playing some... I almost said Resident Evil. Silent Hill 4, not Resident Evil 4, no. Herp derp, wrong game. And, uh... We're going... We're going through some hell of world shit right now. It is fine. We'll be fine. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments how you're doing. Um... See, every time it does that, I'm thinking something bad's gonna happen. Right, we have an axe now. <laughs> oh, that must be what the number's for. Okay. So, before I go do that, there's still two doors over here that I can test. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Okay. Classic Silent Hill. But still gotta check just in case. Alright. So, I got here. This must be where the goat goes. Let's see here. Three, seven, five, oh. It is an easy as fuck puzzle. <laughs> I'm used to having a little bit more of a brain teaser in my Silent Hill. What? I fucking, I, I fucking said! I fucking said, didn't I? I fucking said. I fucking said! Run, like, runs away from me, doesn't stay with me. Fu oh, fuck's sake. <sighs> Not these fucks. Come here. We're out. Not dealing with you. Leave me alone. Let, just, just leave me alone. I'm not dealing with the ghost. No. Not happening. Mm -mm. Not doing it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, fuckface. Ha, you're stuck under the stairs. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Mr. Stuck on the, under the stairs. How you doing? You can't do shit to me. I mean, you can brain zap me, but whatever. Stop brain zapping me. Leave me alone. <laughs> me alone, bro. He's just stuck! <laughs> what is this? The door 207 from my apartment building. Okay. There's a plate on the- Oh, yep, he's dead! <laughs> Mr. Braintree is hella dead. Dead body? Dead body! Why is there an electric chair in his apartment for one? And for two? That's a really shitty way to go. Like- the other guy just got, like, the guy who tortured Walter as a kid in the orphanage, he just got killed. Like, dead body floating in water, whatever. Didn't see how he died, probably got shanked. This guy? This is a shitty way to die! <laughs> Oh, he toasty. Oh, he toasty. <laughs> he a little toast. A little bit of toast. Eating with some butter. Little toast man. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> oh, lost another one, Henry. Rip you, I guess. All right, we got hauntings yet? Looks like another one, Captain. Got one, one, two, one on his head. It's just like that case from 10 years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Man, he is not uh, dead. Well, I mean, he is dead. Copycat. I mean, he is dead, but yeah. you know. But even so, 
again, they keep saying it's like one, 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 two, one. The middle one is obviously a dash. Like 11 of 21, it's not that hard to figure out. It's not a one, it's a fucking dash. I'm not, not looking in the dunk line, I'm look, I'm look, th look through the people, you shh, fuck face. I am in a sweary mood today. Okay, nothing there. How's, how's our Eileen girl doing? Oh shit, <laughs> she's looking hot. She getting ready. You're getting ready for something. Is that blood on Robbie's face? <laughs> Ite. Uh. Would not surprise me, he is Robbie. And uh, Robbie will always be a creeper. Always. Still blood in the sink. This hole, it doesn't look like a human made it. It's getting bigger and rounder. I think I've seen this pattern before. <laughs> oh shit! It's the pattern that's it has on the other side. It's starting to happen in our world. Maybe when it gets big enough that it actually turns red is when Sullivan comes into the apartment and kills me. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Alright, where am I at now? Looks like he smeared the walls in strawberry Joe. Oh, fuck. No. No. Don't do it, Eileen. <laughs> Don't do it, Eileen. <laughs> Why are the dogs dead? Why would he kill his own dogs? Uh, don't open that door, Eileen. It's not gonna end well for you. Like, do not open that door. She's gonna open the door, but do not open that door. It looks like my apartment. No, it looks like strawberry jam all over the, the walls. Is this? Strawberry jam. It is your apartment covered in strawberry jam. Oh shit. Wait a minute. Kid just fucking vanished. <laughs> Just got from a paper stuck under the door. It's the same way they shut up under my door. Okay. The only place that strawberry jam is my door. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is that guy doing here? Could be the um could he be the next No, he's not the next victim. He's the victimer. Attacker, murder, whatever. So, I assume these apartments have similar layouts, right? This, the length from 302 to 303 is way too long <laughs> for the size of their apartments. There's scrap of paper circuit. Then pick the fucking paper! It's probably gonna make me pick it up from the other side, I bet. Like, you should be able to pick it up there. Is it gonna let you know? All of these guys are gonna get up. <laughs> like, just shoot them now, Henry. No, I. I got this from Miss Galvin a long, long time ago. She was younger than me back then. She looked so happy, holding her mother's hand. Here, I'll give it to you. No. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope, uh-uh, nope, mm-mm, 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 mm -mm. red alert, get in the fuck out, nope. <laughs> nope, 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 I'm out. <laughs> I could not be more out. I 
It's locked. Well, just because it's... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck off. Fuck your face. It's locked. Oh. Fucking ghosts. God damn it. This is why I can't have nice things. So all of those doors are locked, but the fact that it says that they are locked and that not that they're jammed or anything makes me think that I'm gonna have to go into all of these rooms. And that's annoying. Because there's gonna be a lot of rooms in this apartment. Do not want to deal with Walter. Fuck Walter. I know enough about the lore of these games to not take anything that Walter gives me. God, please tell me it's not a key item I need for something. Puppies. Rude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run, bitch! <laughs> Where am Henry? <laughs> Stop being terrible. <laughs> Henry, you suck. <sighs> At some point, I feel like Walter is going to chase. I don't want to be in this room. Can we? Can we not? Times lockers in numbers 101 through 304. Okay. It's probably important for something. Do I know what it is now? Wait. Hold up. Is there another door there? Okay. It's locked. So I can go through that door. I can't go through this one. Can I go through this one? I assume I'm going to need to find the key to Eileen's room so I can go protect her or something. It's locked. What the fucking doors are locked? It's locked. Do I have to pick up the doll? I don't want to pick up- I don't know where I put it. <laughs> like, I don't see any doll related puzzles. Superintendent's room. So that must be Frank Sunderland's room. Oh, please don't kill Frank. Please don't tell me that Frank's one of the victims. I don't want Frank to die. I don't think he is. Oh, fucking puppies, come here. I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> I am not dealing with you. Are there more? The fuck is that sound? Alright, come here. Come here, fuckface. <laughs> no. I have to pick up the doll, don't I? I don't want to. But... <sighs> Where would I put it? Am I missing something? Super obvious? All locked, all locked, locked. I mean, there's obviously this little one in the middle with like the little light or whatever the fuck that I'm gonna have to get into, I assume, at some point. Oh, hey, a hole. <laughs> I don't want to. Again, I wouldn't know where to take it. It's not like I could give the doll to the little boy or something. No, this is the room that has a ghost in it. Or the hall that has a ghost. Oh, fuck right off. <laughs> yep. Good thing they can't follow me through doorways. Can I go back into my own room? 
Dogs are still dead. Again, why would Walter kill his own monsters? Okay, 303 is where Eileen's at. Oh, wait a minute. I probably just have to use the damn hole, don't I? To go get the piece of paper. Wait a minute. Uh. Are you fucking kidding me? Is the one behind where I woke up? <sighs> Fuck. The red piece of paper with nothing written on it. Take the red paper? Yes. I'll stick it under room. Oh, okay. There's a diary here. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me who gave me that rare porn magazine. Okay. <laughs> Looks like he's been working super hard. He said he found another rare one. He'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. Okay. <laughs> he said he was a journalist and he's always investigating stuff. But I think something strange is going... I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment and I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. Mike. Oh, my beautiful Rachel. What's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me, but I guess it was somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes. What? Okay. This looks like an elevator or something. Okay, so all the apartments do have a relatively... It's not Lisa Garland. <laughs> um, similar thing. This guy, is it the super? He was much younger in this picture. There's a key taped to the back of it. Then take it, obviously. Okay, so I can get in the superintendent's room, at least. It's a picture of a nurse that says, I love you on it. There's a key taped to the back of it. Take the fucking key. Okay, 106. Please tell me there's not a ghost in here now. It's a porn magazine. Teaching Despair, Wish House. Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its but behind its false image is a place where the children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. Okay! I know there's a lot of problems in the foster care system and the adoption system, but well-respected charity? Have you... Bull I'm calling so much bullshit on that because the sheer amount of fuckery that we saw in the orphanage area, they would not be able to keep that under wraps for that long. Especially once children go missing because the government keeps track of that shit. I, I, whatever. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith temp who lives near wish house had this to say sometimes at night i can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying i went there to complain one time but they ran me right out since then it hasn't changed a bit in fact this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility what exactly do the folks at wish house have to hide during my investigations i was able to discover however a suspicious looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities unfortunately no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for but it seems likely that it has any it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Oh, hey, that's the Joseph guy that was mentioned. There's a ghost in here now, isn't there? Oh, fuck face. Wait, no. <laughs> Let me get out. <laughs> okay. So I can stick the papers under. No, no, just stick the paper. Put the red paper under the door crack. Okay. Maybe that's why I can pick it up from this side. Maybe it's blank from this side, but it's not from the real or from the apartment. From the save room place. So I'll try it there. 
I have leads. I'm not going to pick up the doll unless I think it's for a puzzle. I don't trust the doll. I do not trust the doll. Don't tell me to trust the doll, guys. I, I can see you guys in the comments right, telling me to trust. I'm not trusting the doll. I, I don't trust the fucking doll. <laughs> the doll came from Walter. I don't trust the fucking doll. My gut says don't trust the doll. Don't tell me to trust the doll. I'm not gonna trust the fucking doll. My house is fucking possessed. <laughs> My house is fucking possessed. Yes, 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 I know. Pick up the things on the floor. There's red paper stuck here. It was four years ago that they discovered the body with- See? See, somebody else knows it's a dash. With- 12-21 carved into it. Right away, I had this terrible feeling and couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier, but Walter had been dead for seven years, having committed suicide three years before the murder. The police think it's a copycat crime and are calling it the Sullivan case round two. But something about it bothered me. May 14th. Okay. I figured out the riddle behind the numbers. Yeah. 01121 is actually 01 2. See? In other words, 1 out of 21. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people, but never finished the job. He was convicted for the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the 7th and 8th victims. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. The grisly mass murder of 10 people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. There are two big puzzles here. First is, what was the motive for the murders? Second is, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? May 2nd. Eight. Yeah, that tracks! <laughs> the hell is this? A dryer sprayed blood all over the place. Great. Wonderful. It's getting haunted in here. It's getting haunted in here. <laughs> Everything's haunted in here. Okay. <laughs> I can still heal in here, at least. For now. It seems like something this game would do to take away my healing ability. And I'm gonna be mad because I'm hardly ever finding healing items. Hopefully if it does that, it'll actually provide me healing items. But we shall see. I can cross my fingers. I can cross my fingers and hope. Do not spoil whether or not it does in chat. Or in, I mean, in chat. I'm not streaming right now. In the comments. I do not appreciate spoilers. Now, I do know the story of this game. That part is, you know, I know it. But... Oh, his room's almost normal. <laughs> but do not spoil things for me in the comments of YouTube videos. Because, yes, I may know the story of this game, or at least the bare bones of it. I have not played it myself, though. Oh, more paper. Is this going to be the collection of the red paper? There's a torn piece of red paper. Yes. So I'm going to need to collect a bunch of paper. Turn to room 302 together with the part with her boyfriend part her boyfriend tore off. Okay. Oh, wait! Key! Take, got the apartment keys. Keys to each apartment in the building. Actually, it looks like 303. Of course the one we need is missing. I'm gonna have to go through every single apartment room. Fuck. <laughs> That's gonna be annoying. Especially because I bet you, like, half of them have ghosts. It's a red box. Man, this thing really sick is practically bringing tears to- It's the umbilical cord. Again. Frank. Buddy. 
Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm doing some math in my head real quick. So, Walter Sullivan was brought up in Silent Hill 2. So, we know that at least by that point, Walter was dead. And the people in this game remember some of the stuff about those murders. And Walter had to have been alive to see multiple characters when they were younger. So that had to have been before his death. I don't know where I'm going with this. I was going somewhere with it, but then I lost track. Um, the, the timing is weird. Oh, I remember where I was going with it now. Um, how long has Frank Sunderland been in this apartment? He had to have been in this apartment long enough and been the superintendent of this apartment long enough to have gotten that umbilical cord from room 302 when Walter was born, which we knew was a long time ago. And Walter was dead by the time of Silent Hill 2. He had killed himself. So did James Sunderland from Silent Hill 2 grow up with a stanky ass evil Silent Hill energy filled umbilical cord in his apartment? Because <laughs> I assume Frank Sunderland who we know is James's daddy just raise his son with a stanky ass umbilical cord in the middle of the living room. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> the red box seems even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting, but I can't just throw it. Yes, you can. It must have been around 30 years ago. The young couple, that young couple is living in that apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared. Ran off like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles, or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. Problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. Even found the umbilical cord. I called the ambulance right away and heard the baby survived, but I didn't, don't know what happened to him. Though a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. One day he just stopped coming by, but now that I think of it, I'll bet he was that abandoned baby. It's a horrible story, abandoning a newborn baby. That all happened in room 302. And the umbilical cord I found there, well, I just can't get, get myself to throw it away. Again! Can't be that hard, bro. Like, I know it's probably Silent Hill kooky energies working on you, but... You probably could have thrown it away immediately. Because I doubt the Silent Hill allergies would have been acting on you or Walter at that point. Because he'd yet to have been sent to Silent Hill. Whatever. I'm just poking holes in this story left and right. Don't mind me. Well. I guess. I guess we're going to have to go searching through a whole bunch of fucking doors. Please don't have a ghost in here. I don't like dealing with them. Do not approve of dealing with the ghosty goos. Interesting wallpaper, though. Locked. Locked. Wallpaper! My, it says, my darling's member. And there are some numbers that look like a phone number. Will you press these numbers? Sure. Oh, Jesus Christ! I summoned a fucking ghost. Can you, like, not, bro? Bro. 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 No. You made me scream at the very end of a fucking video. You made me scream at the very end of a fucking video. And I need to record You know what? Where's that even coming from? Not fuck you. <laughs> I'm still salty. <sighs> I 
Can you not? You are so annoying! You are so fucking annoying. <laughs> you are so fucking annoying. It sounds like it's coming from over here, but it's not. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> I am so done with you. I am so done. <laughs> I've been recording for half an hour. I'm gonna go fucking save. The ghosts are annoying. <laughs> the ghosts are extremely annoying. And I know I can use the sword things. I probably missed one. I don't know. Um, I know I can use the sword things to get rid of them. To get rid of some of them. But I haven't found one. And I don't know if it gets rid of all of the iterations of that one, of that type of ghost, or if it just gets rid of that one. The ghosts are fucking annoying. <laughs> They're not scary, unless they come out of nowhere. And all they do is they startle you for a second, because you know that they're freaking annoying to, to take care of. They're not really scary, they're just annoying. Okay, that is gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Carla Tanager, and I have been playing some Silent Hill 4. I'll see you all.